Okay, this video is going to be covering relative minimum and maximum for polynomials. All right, and this is pretty straightforward concept. Um, so the idea is like when we did x squared, right, we'd either have like a frowny face or a smiley face. And then this point, um, the vertex point was either called like a max if it was the top of the hill or it's called a min if it was the bottom of the valley or whatever. So it's like the highest the graph gets, if it's a max, or the lowest the ever gets uh, is a min. So with polynomials, they're just a little more curvy. Like what you see here is actually a negative x cubed one. Looks like this. And so what happens, instead of calling a max and min, we call them relative min and relative max. Okay, and the reason is, like, if you look at this point right here, it's the minimum for its surrounding area. So if we look at just this area, it's the minimum in that area. But it's not the overall min because actually it goes down and down and down forever here, this part of the graph. So, you know, the min, there's actually no overall min because it goes down forever. But relative to this set of points, that's the min. In a similar way, we don't have an overall max because it goes forever and ever up on this side, right? But relative to the points around it, this is the max. Okay, and so, you know, a good way to explain this might be, you know, like I'm not the minimum funniest teacher in the entire world right there's probably some teacher out there that's less funny than me right but relative to the other teachers at rhs i'm i'm the least funny so relative to my peers i'm least i'm the minimum even though i'm not the overall minimum all right so to find them basically you can just use a calculator to do this all right so um, if i had to find the relative min or max i think on the test you honestly just have to read the coordinates off the graph but um you know, otherwise, like if you need to find it, you can always just graph it. So the example I have up here, here's the graph on Desmos. And Desmos is super nice because you can just read the points right off of it. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I think on the test, what you really have to do is just estimate. So this is like about x negative 1 and y like 3.1 or something. But on Desmos, I can click right on it and see the exact coordinates. All right. Um, so that's the relative max. And then the min, again, if I just estimate it like I'd have to do on the test, it'd be about 0.6 for x, and y would be about negative 2. So you can see, if I click on it, you can see the actual coordinates. Right? And again, on the test, you'll just have to estimate. One thing to really highlight here is that these are called max and min. And then don't forget these points right here. These would be your solutions. So here's my polynomial over here, and the solutions to this, when it would make it be 0, would be x of negative 1.5 about, x of 0, and then x of about 1.14 or something like that. Those are the zeros or solutions. So those are kind of the different points that we find of interest, right? We, and this is just today. Today is just to talk about this relative max and relative min. Okay, I'm going to do one more example for you here. All right, so this is an x to the fourth, and I'm going to have to scroll it around. And the x to the fourth has a little more turn in it. So what this one will actually have is two relative maxes. Like this is the max for its area. All right, and again, we can just see the coordinates by clicking on it or reading it off the graph. The other max, again, if I did it like I do on the test, it would be about x1 and y about 6. All right, and again, on Desmos, you can just click it. So this one has two relative maxes. And then the relative min actually would be right down here in this little turn, and that looks like it's 0 and positive 5. Not surprising, there's our y-intercept there. So our min is um, 0, 5. Okay, so that's it. Max and min, this one has two mac relative maxes, and this one has one relative min. That is all. Thank you for watching.